Hi, my name is Pedro Oliveira and I'm a Linux Professional Service Engineer at NXLog. Today we are going to guide you on how to integrate Proxmox with NXLog platform. So we will configure Proxmox hypervisor to send the logs to NXLog platform so you can identify and prevent any issues that may arise um, with the use of your virtual or container services. Let's get started. I'm using Proxmox version 8.3. Behind the scenes, Proxmox uses the Debian 12 operating system. So configuring the remote of sending logs is similar to what we need to do to configure a Debian operating system to send logs. So the first action that we need to do is the following. We need to access our graphical user interface of Proxbox, select the nodes that we want to collect logs, click on Shell, and install the rsyslog service. So I do a apt install rsyslog. After the installation is done, we need to create a configuration file inside the rsyslog D folder with the following name. The configuration of rsyslog to send the logs to remote server is the following. First, I will do star dot star. This indicates that all levels of logs should be forward. Then I need to add a at. If I want to send the logs encrypted or via TCP protocol, I need to add two ads. But in this case, I'm going to use UDP protocol. So I will only use one at and set the IP address of my agent that is collecting logs. Also, I'm going to define a new port called 5514. So right now I'm configuring RC's log daemon to forward all logs to the IP address 10.0.0.0.4.6 on port 55.14. Save the file. Restart the daemon. and check if it's everything is okay and the daemon is up and running from now on proxmox is configured to send all the logs to nx log platform then we need to go to our nx log platform and configure our agent to receive Proxmox logs. I will select the server that I configured the agent to listen to different ports. And so we need to go to configurations overview, select listen to agents less server template. On previous videos, I already have these ports configured, so uh, for AP Fire 514, for PFSense 5114. However, for Proxmox, I want to separate uh, from the firewalls and Synology, so I will add another route. Select the syslog, so sys drag and drop. I will add another name. So the port I configured was 5514 and I will give the name Proxmox to identify better what it comes from the Proxmox IP. 
supervisor. So I would like to send to NXLog platform to be stored um, and to have a rotation period of, of one year. So behind the scenes, what is uh, happened here? If I go to view configuration, I already have my configuration done for the other ports and for Proxmox, I have this one and I have a second port, a second route called route two. Okay. So let's save our configuration. This icon means that uh, our agents needs to be updated. So I'll check uh, my agent. So my agent needs to be updated. I will update the configuration. Check the refresh status. And let's see. So we have all our modules on the status running. And soon we will see for Proxmox. So we can see now that we received four events from our Proxmox hypervisor. Let's check which kind of information we have received from Proxmox. So we go to log search, click on the module Proxmox and I just received these three logs. So from our Proxmox hypervisor. So if you want to go to get more insights on how to integrate with other applications um, please feel free to contact us at nxlog.go in our website also i will advise you to check our integrations to see which kind of integration is available um, with nxlog platform and also our documentation to understand better the functionality and the features uh, of nxlog platform Thank you.